Hello, for today's video lecture we're going to be talking about the equations of motion uh, using the normal tangential coordinate system. So for this we are using Newton's second law and the force mass acceleration me method. Uh, and the force mass, ac mass acceleration method in kinetics builds directly on Newton's second law, uh, which is going to state that the force uh, is equal to the mass times acceleration, or the sum of the forces is equal to the mass times acceleration. Uh, if we add uh, known and unknown values into this equation, uh, this is known as our equation of motion. This is the key to uh, the kinetics part of this. Uh, and it is important to remember that F and A are vectors, uh, and in many cases, in almost all cases, we're going to be breaking these down into components. Uh, so the components for this video lecture are going to be the normal and tangential uh, components. And those are the equations of motions, uh, or the equation of motion for each direction. Uh, by solving this equation, or equations uh, in this case, we can find uh, the forces given accelerations or find the accelerations given the forces. Uh, we can go back and forth between those using our F equals MA relationship. All right, so in two dimensions, uh, we're gonna have two equations of motion in the normal tangential coordinate system. Uh, sum of forces in the normal direction is equal to the mass times acceleration in the normal direction. And the sum of forces in the tangential direction is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the tangential direction. Um, so the normal tangential coordinate system uh, is usually employed in instances where uh, observations are made from some body in motion. Uh, so if we are observing things from the uh, cockpit of a plane or on board a car, uh, that's generally where we're going to be using uh, these equations here. All right, so uh, for the forces part of this, uh, we need you know F and we need the acceleration part as well. Uh, we're going to fill in the details and the forces using a free body diagram. Uh, so here we have a free body diagram. Um, I've got a plane, that's the body we're analyzing. I've put in the tangential direction. Remember that is always going to be the direction we are currently traveling in. Uh, and the normal direction is going to be 90 degrees counterclockwise from that. Um, so here I've got at least one force drawn in. I would probably have other forces as well. Uh, and I've got an angle, uh, so that force might be known, uh, that theta angle might be known, uh, they might be unknowns. But here, it is important to remember we need to break everything down uh, into n and t components. Uh, and we're going to use that angle and sines and cosines to do that. So I would need to do for the uh, tangential equation of motion, I'd have ft equals f cosine theta. For the normal direction, I'd have uh, the normal uh, component of that force is equal to f sine theta in this case. Uh, so conditions are going to vary, but we do need to break it down, and we're going to use the sines and cosines generally to break our vectors down into components. All right, for the acceleration part, um, we're going to fill in details on acceleration by looking back to kinematics. And when we dealt with this in kinematics, um, we found the acceleration in the normal and the tangential directions to be, uh, so normal was going to be the current velocity or speed times theta dot or speed squared over the radius of curvature of the path we're following. Uh, and then the acceleration in the tangential direction is v dot is the rate at which the speed of the uh, object is changing. So this v, uh, we use v for velocity, but this is a uh, just a magnitude, this v does not include the, the uh, direction of our velocity. All right, so we can plug these various pieces in uh, to the acceleration part of our equation. Uh, and the whole process is going to be as follows. Uh, so we have three steps usually. We're going to set up a free body diagram. Uh, so again, for that free body diagram, we want to draw the body separated from its surroundings. Uh, usually we want to draw in, I find it's helpful to draw in the t and the n directions when we do this as well. Uh, next we're going to draw in all the known and unknown forces. So I use red for forces in my uh, textbook here, as well as key dimensions and angles. Uh, so I use blue for dimensions, blue for angles uh, as well. Uh, and then I, I like to draw in the acceleration vector if that is a known magnitude or known direction as well. So I'm going to use a blue dashed vector uh, for any acceleration information I have. I just draw that in with my free body diagram. So once I have that diagram in place, uh, then it's start, time to start writing out the equations of motion. 
Uh, so the equations of motion, uh, we break all of our forces, all of our accelerations down into n and t components uh, using these sines and cosines where we can. Um, and we have the sum of the forces in the n direction is equal to the mass times acceleration in the n direction. Uh, the sum of forces in the t direction is equal to mass times acceleration in the t direction. Uh, and we can supplement this if we've got some sort of kinematics relationship uh, for the normal tangential coordinate system, we can add that in as well. Uh, the important thing is we need to make sure that uh, before we try to solve the math, we've got at least as many equations as I have unknowns. So if I have uh, just two unknowns, my two force equations are going to be enough. Uh, if I've got three unknowns, I might need to start searching around for some sort of kinematics relationship uh, to get an extra equation uh, to, to solve for that. All right, so once we have the math, or once we have the equations, the last part is just the math. So uh, we're going to use our algebra to solve for any unknown forces, any unknown uh, accelerations, any not unknown angles uh, or magnitudes in any of these cases. Uh, so with that, that's all we have for the process. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.